ഹായ് ഹലോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ആഷിഖ് യു വാച്ചിങ് സ്കൈ ലാക്ക് പിക്ചേഴ്സ് എൻ്റർടൈൻമെൻറ്റ്സ് ആടുജീവിതം എന്ന സിനിമ മലയാള സിനിമാ ലോകത്ത് തുല്യതയില്ലാത്ത ഒരു സിനിമയായി മാറുന്നു ഇബ്രാഹിം ഖാദിരിയായി വ്യത്യസ്തമായ നടനം കാഴ്ചവെച്ച മിസ്റ്റർ ജിമ്മിയാണ് ജിമ്മി നമ്മുടെ ഒപ്പം ചേരുന്നു വെൽക്കം സർ താങ്ക് യു വെരി ഹാവ് യു സർ Good good to be here. Yeah, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy to be okay, here. Okay, first of all, I would like to know that how do you feel? Uh today yes. very good, you know. Uh the movie was released uh, on the 28th and uh people are very happy about uh what what they've seen. Uh I'm very happy to be part of that production, The Goat Life, because this is my very first Indian movie here. Okay. You know, uh yeah. I don't live here. I live in Los Angeles and uh and I usually do movies in Hollywood, in Europe, in South America, but this is really my first my first gig here and and I'm glad to be introduced to the to the Indian audience by such a great masterpiece of a movie that Blessy Blessy came up with and um and yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah, oh, great. We are also happy to have you. Thank you. And uh, uh, you know when I was uh, seeing when I was watching the movie. Yeah. You know I was uh, I was very shocked the way you act. Uh, mm -hmm. I liked so much. So Thank I you. I like the way you act. Yeah. So I want to know that uh look, before you come with this movie uh have you read that book which is the God Life book? No, I've not read the book unfortunately. Um I I was given information about the book. Um of course I had a script. and I knew what kind of character I was going to play he brought in Kadri I had uh, conversations with uh, with the productions and specifically with Blessy so I knew that it was highly expected you know from from this region yeah, maybe even from India but that's that's the only thing you know so uh I didn't know what I was going to get myself into to be honest with you you know until I went to to Algeria and realized the the scope of what we were doing you know based on the equipment the people that were uh around the technicians the actors and uh and when we started to shoot I realized that Blessy was was uh, was someone very special you know based on on the vision that he had for the movie based on how he was able to to communicate that vision so he could have uh, the best execution possible and uh and yeah and surrounded by great actors as well you know both Gokul and uh and Raj mm -hmm. you know had to go through amazing transformations to be able to portray the characters that they played uh yeah very impressed by by the whole production actually and and very happy to see the end result Okay so uh, you have acted many movies uh, like international movies you have done so uh, when you compare to indian cinema and international cinemas like english movies yeah. so what is the major difference that you feel uh i mean when you come to cinema it's like you know we really have a lot of big differences you know i mean at the end of the day all markets all all industry try to come up with the best possible project to entertain an audience so yeah. that's the end goal so if we can get to that then it's great we we come from different cultures so there will be differences uh having said so uh for example you do have a lot of people on set uh in that specific uh, production and that's probably because india has a lot of people so manpower is very easy to 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 get and uh, and we worked every day We work every day. We oh, didn't stop. Yeah, yeah. We there was no day off. I mean, <laughs> that's never happened to me before. You know, usually you have like two days off, but no, there it's like every day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, every day. So that was that was that was very weird to me. And um and also there was something about about timing as well that was slightly off because uh you know, I tend to be very precise with timing, you know. If I have a call time at 8:00, o'clock, with at 8:00 o'clock at 8:00 we start to shoot and that's just normal standard. and there it was a bit more you know <laughs> you know let's wait for and i'm like so yeah, so those are those yeah those are the little differences but as far as the uh, you know the the movie itself you know i mm -hmm. think we had india has great technicians yep and uh, great talents exactly. so there's no big difference really that's why nowadays you see a lot of uh, indian movies that are crossing over that are doing amazingly well outside of india 
uh, I think the last examples probably are the KGF and uh, RRR. All yeah, those how big we watched that. Uh, well, because they crossed over, we, we 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 speak about them, we read about them because yeah, of the yeah, of yeah. the of the of the business that they've made uh, yeah. outside of India. The commercial side, huh? The commercial side, that exactly, they exactly, and probably it might be the same for for the Goat Life, because because I know the Goat Life is having a a world release, and and so far it's really well received, so people are writing about it, and uh, and people are being more aware about what's going on in India, what kind of cinema is being done. And, um, and, you know, what I like to say is if you are not Indian and you live outside of India, every single movie coming from India you think belongs to Bollywood oh. because that's what's been marketed to the rest of the world. Great, great. So it's only when I came here that I'm really understanding the difference between the Bollywood, Kaliwood, Mollywood, Tollywood, you know, and... Each market is completely different, you yes. know, different kind of movies, different audience, different language. But outside of India, we really think that it's one group of people, one language and one cinema. No. Which is very naive, you know, but, but unfortunately, that's, uh, that's what it is. And Bollywood has done extremely well as far as marketing themselves yeah. as being the only brand in India. So I think the movie like Goat Life will be able to clarify some of that, you know. Uh, the prior movies have done it already, you know, the KGF, RRR, the, you know, old movies from South India, and now you have this one. So I think slowly people will pay attention and understand that, you know, uh, that Indian cinema is pretty rich, and it's not always the same kind of movies that you, you will watch. And, and Goat Live is, is, for me, probably a masterpiece. You know, it's one of those movies that India is going to be proud of for, for many years to come. Of course, you are looking forward. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so the thing that uh, even Mr. Prithiraj also has said once, uh, there is no language barrier for goat life because uh, it's more than uh, by words. Oh, it completely. is something which is shown, right? I mean, I can testify to that. I saw the movie twice. I saw it in, uh, in Hyderabad mm -hmm. and I saw it here. Oh. Both times with no subtitles. Oh, great. <laughs> Two different languages. Oh, great. But I understood everything. Yeah. I understood everything. No you need, know? nothing. Actually, you actually don't need to, to speak the language to understand. I mean, of course, you do have some scenes where the, the two characters are speaking to each other or some of the flashbacks where, you know, you, you find Najib in, in India before his departure. I mean, but you can, you can make up for what's going on because visually speaking, mm -hmm. the movie is telling you everything. Yes. So the cinematography is, is amazing and the, 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 the pace and the rhythm of the movie is great. So, so as Raj said, yeah, uh, language is not, uh, is, is not really a challenge for, for this particular movie. And that's why I think it's probably going to do well across the world. Okay. So uh, how you came to this movie? Like, uh, we'll narrate the story firstly to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I almost missed out. I almost missed out on this one because I, I got a message about this project. I was in, in LA in my home. And I looked at the, the, the email, and I didn't really pay attention. So a few weeks went by. They sent me another email, and, and then eventually I'm like, okay, let's open this. Okay. And then that was the goat, the goat Life. So I start to speak with, uh, with the people, so they send me more information. Uh, keep in mind that I don't know what The Goat Life is about. I don't know about the book. I don't know about the director. I don't know about the actors. I don't know about anything. You so, weren't aware about also the book? Uh, you weren't aware about no, the book? No, no, I, I I've never heard of the book from okay. where I come from. So I had no idea of what the movie was about. Okay. So, so it's only after speaking to them and after getting more information that I realized that, oh my God, this is like a, a huge story, an unbelievable story. And, uh, and because they were doing a movie based on a true story, I instantly knew that it was going to be something spectacular. And that's how I sort of uh, got on. And I'm so happy that, uh, that, uh, that I'm part of this production. I'm very grateful because the character that I play, uh, Ibrahim Kadri, is, you know, he's, mm. he's the kind of character that we wish we can all be somehow, uh, meaning by that, be as human as possible for each other. Mm -hmm helping each other whenever is necessary without waiting for anything in return. 
And I think that's the kind of character that uh, Ibrahim Kadri is. We need more Kadris in our I, life. I, I, I believe so. You probably have some of them already, but you know, I think we can definitely use more, more Kadri. That philosophy of life where you can just be there for each other. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I think that's something that's been lost throughout the years, you know, where material took over uh, the, the, the people. You know, we pay more attention to things to objects, to beautiful houses, cars, phones, whatever it is, versus paying attention to our brothers and sisters. And I think that's what, uh, that's what the character of Kadri is reminding us to do. You know, let's think a little bit more about ourselves. Let's be the most important things on earth. Yeah. Because we are. We should help each other. We should help each other exactly. all the time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the thing, uh, as we all know that, the shoot was done when the pandemic hits the world. Yeah. Right? The COVID pandemic. You were there at the same time? You no. had a shoot there? No, no, no. I, 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 I missed out on the, on the first Jordan trip. Because oh. uh, the cast and crew got stuck in the first Jordan strip, uh, trip. Uh, and I was, no, I wasn't there. I was doing something in Egypt and then I went to, to LA. I was in LA when, when, when the entire world was, was, oh. has, has stopped. Uh, so I can't really testify on that. <laughs> but I was in uh, I was in Algeria and uh, it was it was rough, man. It was an easy yeah. shoot, you know. I mean, for for me, it's been since 2021. But for Blessy, it's been like 16 years. 16 years, yes. you know. I mean, 16 years, one project that requires a level of dedication, like you know, few people have. Yeah. And uh, and because it's so stubborn and because he's so sure of his vision you know he's he, he didn't compromise at all you know whatever he wanted to do that's what he did regardless of what needed to be done yeah, and, yeah. and some situations were completely extreme you know mm -hmm. for example i know that there's one specific shot in the movie the sandstorm uh, okay. it's a real sandstorm that we, sh we shot in you oh, know what i mean there was no vfx <laughs> That, 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 sh that sequence, mm -hmm. I'm not going to give any spoiler, okay. but, but that scene of, of Hakim leading up to the sandstorm, mm -hmm. we shot that in a real sandstorm, meaning by that, you know, sand flashing uh -huh. in our faces. Okay. All the camera guys, they had masks and everything to protect themselves, but Raj oh, yes. and myself, we didn't have anything. So we had to do it completely naked, you know, against nature. And that was so difficult. And then I had to carry him. I didn't know where I was going, how. And, but the visionary who is Blessy took the risk to shoot it there and then. And uh, as difficult as it, as it was, the result is just impeccable. So, so it paid off. Okay. Apart from this movie, uh, when I was searching about you, I noticed that when you had a connection also with India a few years ago, <laughs> like from 1996. Yeah, 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 yeah indeed, story. indeed, indeed. <laughs> uh, my first trip in, in India was in 19, 1996. I was modeling back then, so I did a couple of, couple of runway shows in, uh, in Mumbai and in New Delhi. Okay. And, and, and back then, and I didn't know who she was, but she was very beautiful, very elegant. Uh, and she was part of it as well. I think she did the, the Mumbai show with us. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was You Mumbai remember show. her name? Uh, I remember her name, but I would prefer if you say it yourself, because I, I don't want to butcher her name. Cause, you know, I should be all right. Yeah, it's yes. difficult for me to say it. Yeah, I understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, 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 yeah, she was there. I mean, absolutely stunning, you know. And uh, at the time, she, you know, we, we could see that she was stunning, but... She wasn't worldwide known because, you know, she was already a miss, but she wasn't the actress that she became. And, uh, and it's only a few years later that I made the connections, you know, that, oh, my God, that's the same lady that I met. And look at her now. And she's done amazingly well. So, so yeah, so that was my first introduction to India, uh, meeting goddess of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of, of India. And, uh, and, yeah, I enjoyed it. And this time around, you know, uh, it, it's, a different, it's a different experience because this time around we did uh, a huge press tour. Uh, we went from, uh, from Mumbai to Chennai, Bangalore and uh, Hyderabad and, and here Kochi with, uh, with Raj and also with uh, Google. 
uh, not Google, but with uh, A.R. Rahman. Oh, Rahman. Yeah. And, uh, and I was able to see a lot more. You know, I was able to understand some differences in the culture as well. I mean, obviously, the language is different from each spot, so yeah. that is clear for me now. Yeah, for and your also information, the food. I just want to add you something that uh, we are Indians and we speak more than a thousand languages. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm understanding that. Yeah. More than a thousand, that's, that's a lot. But at the same time, you're like 1.4 billion people, so it makes sense. <laughs> yes. You're like the equivalent of like 50 countries. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we are actually 29 states now. 29 states, states it could be yes. 29 countries, really. <laughs> yeah, you can say like Easily. that. Easily. Yeah, when it compares to international cities, like we, can, we may say like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, India is, uh, is extremely powerful, you know, um, and specifically because of the number of people, yeah. you know. The population. So, yeah, the population. So, so, yeah, so I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the, the experience here and... Uh, you know what? You never know. I might have a chance to come back with a different project, yeah. whether it's from here Looking or from... Looking forward to that. You're yeah, always welcome. You're always Thank welcome. you very much. Thank you very much. If there's any good ideas, good projects, let me know. You know, I might just come back for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you act with a Gokul, yeah. uh, you were beaten. You were uh, scrolling like... Uh, he, he was telling something bad about you, I know that, yeah. to the character. Yeah. So still you were there for them. Yeah. So uh, the character is like a divine character mm -hmm. you had played. So uh, how do you feel when, you, when the character comes to you and, okay, this is something good, the Kadri has some mankind, yeah. something like that. So, uh, but after that, you left them. You left them, you vanished, right? After the, the, when, when it comes to the climax. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, you, once again, we can't tell... To, we can't say too much about, about the movie, but yeah. uh, listen, uh, Kadri is a godsend kind of guy, you know, he's like an angel, yeah, yeah. a Moses, you know, he opens the ways and tells you where to go and he's there for you. Uh, and, and, and I guess I understood straight away that he, in, in that particular time, the minute they met, he was the leader. And as the leader, you lead, regardless of what's going on, you always have to show that everything is good. Hope has to stay there, to be there. So even when, when there, was, uh, there were moments of doubt, you know, his behavior was always like, don't worry, we're going to manage. And uh, he understood that Gokul at one point was, you know, was having some hard time. You know, he took, he took a little bit of the beating, but at the same time, uh, he was very aware of what, what was going on. There was no need for him to, to respond to, to Goku's attitude, but to actually lead by example. You know what I mean? And, and, and I think that's, that, that's what he did. And I think it, it's, it's, a great, it's a great example on how to behave, you know, how to be, how to be a, a leader in, in very uh, exceptional circumstances. Like a battle. Yeah. Yeah, completely. So, so, yeah, so he was there for them. I mean, you have, you have so many really humane kind of moments and touchy moments, you know, such as even when, when, when they were extremely tired, the way he was able to even, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, like <laughs> little, little things like that. Uh, you don't want to say that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <don't> see <laughs> I don't want to say too much, yeah. but, 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 you, you know. You have something to see. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he was really there for them. He was there for them. He rescued them. And then um, we, we believe the way we constructed the character, the way we constructed Kadri, he did his job and continued living his life. You know, whatever happened to him, you know, it's up in the air. He has but, been. But he did the best that he could do. Yes. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and there is also a very, very important moment in the movie as well. It's probably the most important message for me. It's at the very end of the movie, for those who have seen the movie, you know, in the poli at the police station, there is a picture there. And obviously that tells yeah. you a lot about Kadri, that who is what, he is. What was my next question? Yeah, <laughs> that tells you about how society might judge someone like him. That's how everybody will judge him based on what we see in that wall. But the reality is not what happened. He showed you a different reality than what society wants you to see. 
And I think that's a very, very important message that, uh, that is there. And I hope people will understand it. Okay. So tell us about what was your preparations. Like we have seen that how, uh, what is Raju did and also uh, Google has done. So how about you? What was your preparations to be uh, the character of Kadri? Uh, preparation wise, you know, the way I approach most characters that I play is really trying to understand the, the life of that person. Who is that person? What has he done before? Where is he going after? You know, I mean, giving an entire arc. And that's before starting to even understand the lines. You know, it's really understanding the character. And I think I understood him very well, you know, I understood him very well. And then the, the other details that I needed to master are uh, the language, for example. You know, I don't speak Arabic, so I needed to speak Arabic. I needed to learn Arabic. So I had a coach, you know, to help me with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, and hopefully, you know, the Arabic speaking people are not going to find anything wrong with, uh, with my interpretation. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was very difficult because it's very difficult to, 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 to act in a language that you don't speak and you don't understand. Exactly. So that was quite challenging. Um, otherwise, you know, I mean, otherwise the rest is just normal, you know. I mean, the physical needs... Uh, for the character, you know, this is something that I work on. on, on uh, it's my lifestyle, you know. I, I, I stay as fit as possible, you know. I go to the gym like five days a week. I eat properly and, uh, and I make sure that, that I'm, I'm ready every, you know, whenever there is an opportunity. Uh, because I needed to be very physical in the movie, obviously. I needed to carry the, both characters. Both characters yes. uh, when we were all extremely tired, if I didn't have that physical strength, I wouldn't be able to, to continue. So, so, so yeah, so, so I came naturally with that. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, listen, uh, I, approach, I approach those kind of roles like I would do in, in a movie in Hollywood, in France, in Africa, you know. For me, it's just a different character that I play, you know. Okay. Just a good character. I like, I like Ibrahim Kadri. He's a good guy. <laughs> Great. Your, your friends from that, those countries, uh, has they seen? Have they seen Not them? really. Uh, not really. Uh, no. No, no, no uh, one not calls enough, you. Not nothing. enough screens uh, no. outside. Uh, I have a few people that will see it. In, in the States, a few people will see it in France as well, okay. but I've not spoken to them. I've got emails from Australia, from the UK, you know, of people who have seen the movie. But, but my close friends have not seen it yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see Yo, what they have to say about they it. They know that you have acted and the re uh, cinema is on now. Oh yeah, they know, they know, okay. definitely. I made sure that, uh, that they know. And, and, and if there is any theater that's showing it, I also send the information to them. So it's up to them to go and say it. But I'm pretty sure they will. Because yeah, everybody's really waiting for that, for that project. Because when I was shooting, I was sharing a lot of pictures from the desert. And the d desert is absolutely beautiful, whether it's Timimun in Algeria or mm -hmm. Wadi Ram in Jordan. Absolutely breathtaking. And, uh, and I always spoke highly about the, the project. So most of my friends are looking forward to see it. My entire team, you know, manager, uh, agent, you know, publicist, all those people are waiting to, to, to see the movie. But I'm here, I'm with you guys, and I'm by myself, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't really have to. my people to celebrate with <laughs> beside the, the cast and crew of the movie. Those are the only people I know here. Yeah, let us <laughs> love to tell me. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I heard also about that, uh, the journey of you, your cinematic world. Like, yeah. uh, you have migrated from Swansu and yeah. uh, you, uh, you have acted, I think, uh, many of the movies. So, you have struggled a lot as well. Yeah. Can you just tell me the story, like, uh, from where you started? I mean, I can, I can give you a quick, uh, quick recap. Sure. Uh, I was born in Haiti. Mm -hmm. I was born in a house where there was no running, I mean, not a house, it's really hot more than anything else. There was no running water, there was no electricity. So that kind of beginning, very, very, very rough, very underprivileged. And then uh, moved to Paris in search of a better life, like most Haitians did back then. Uh, Paris was good, went to school there, but then things got a bit funky mm -hmm. to the point where I actually became homeless in Paris. But I overcame that, I was able to find myself and I left France, went to Spain, 
still looking for for better life, you know, and then went to Italy, South Africa, England, uh, and throughout that journey, you know, you had some ups and downs, a lot of downs, but I did have some amazing moments as well. And one of the key moments was probably when I went to South Africa and had a chance to meet with Nelson Mandela. Oh, and um, and and that was that that's a moment that that defined something in me as far as uh, the ability to to believe in myself, mm -hmm. the ability to to stay focused on on whatever goals I had. Uh, so yeah, after that meeting, I was completely. Uh, pumped up, you know, to continue my, my adventure, you know. So from, from South Africa, I went to England, and then almost naturally after that, you know, I went to, to Hollywood. But, you know, when I went to Hollywood, it's, it's like with nothing, you know what I mean? It's like I had to start from zero, from scratch. Lots of struggling for the first few years, but, you know, eventually I found myself over there as well. You know, I started to pick up small jobs here and there, and then I got to a bigger job, you know. I remember the first one was a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme, mm -hmm. and we shot in Bulgaria for about two months. So that was like, that was like a, a good, a good gig. And right after that, you know, I got another movie called Tears of the Sun with Bruce Willis, uh, and almost immediately I got another sm minor role in a movie with Harrison Ford. And then, you know, and then things just started to keep coming, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lopez, and then Robert De Niro, and then. Bradley Cooper, so, and then the career took off. But really the, 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 the height of, of the career was probably when I was on that TV show Heroes, okay. which was the most uh, famous show in the world mm -hmm. when it came out. Mm -hmm. So that introduced me to the entire world. Oh. And that's when I redesigned uh, the way that I, I wanted to, to be seen uh, because of that visibility. I started to do movies in all different continents because I understood that there was a market in all those places. And, uh, and yeah, so I managed to work in all those big markets. And India is probably the last one that I've not done anything in. And here I am now, so I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to, to be introduced to, to, the, to, the, to the audience, to the Indian audience by such an incredible project, which is The Good Life, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, listen, I, 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 I skip details that, uh, that yeah, are very yeah. personal, that, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, things that were very hardcore, uh, things that remind me of Najib's real story, and things that oh. are actually even harder than Najib's real story. Really? Yeah, yeah. Some, some, some situations, yeah. But, you know, maybe one day we can have a, a different interview about that. Oh, my God. So, so that's why I could relate. Oh, I'm sorry for... If no, 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 like... listen. Look at Najib now. Yeah. In life, life is, uh, is a journey. You, you get to bad situations, but if you can overcome, that bad situation becomes a wealth of, of experience. And... Uh, that is if you can overcome it, you know, if you get out of it, if, if you can survive it. And look at Najib now. He's like, yeah. everybody's talking about him. There's a movie about him. So his life has turned around completely because he was able to, to resist. He was able to fight. He had faith, you know, he had hope. And, uh, and with all those qualities combined, you know, you get to see the light. And once you see the light, you really understand what the light is because you've seen darkness. And, uh, and there's something great about seeing darkness. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? It's, it's okay. It's part of the experiences that we go through. We can't reject uh, bad experiences. We just have to learn from them. That's it. If you're willing to learn from all kinds of experiences, a bad experience is actually one of the best experiences you can go through, if you can learn from them. I personally welcome all kind of adventure, because I know that I will be able to learn from them. Struggles make you perfect. Completely. Thank you, sir. Anyway, uh, we are ha very happy to. Uh, very, we are very happy that what you have done Thank for you. us, and uh, we are looking forward that you you need to you get more Indian movies. I that hope we so. should watch. Anyway, thank you so much for coming, and all the very best for the God Life. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.